Hi there. Um, this is B. Shannon, and welcome to City Skylines, Episode 1 of Height Map 25 Tile Series. I'm going to import the terrain map for Fort Williams, Scotland, and then play with it. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to import the map. And not to worry about writing anything down, because I've got it all written down for you right here. And I will put that back up on the screen for you when we're done, so that you can put it on pause and write the whole thing down then. Or if you can print the screen, you can do that. Okay, first off, we're not going to open. We have our, our game open, but we're not going to go through to it yet. We're going to go to, we're going to do an, an Alt tab to our desktop. And then I use Google Chrome, but you can use uh, uh, Internet Explorer or whatever other web browser you use. And then in the upper right corner, I'm going to type in just terrain.party and hit enter. Now, we find ourselves always when we come into this in Tampir, Tampir, I guess it is, Finland. We don't want to be there. So, um, we go up to this um little magnifying glass up here in the right in the upper left corner click on it once and then in that little box that you get that comes up put down type Fort Williams and click en and, and press enter then wait it takes a while for the map to find Fort Williams, Scotland, and oh, and it found the wrong one because I just said Fort Williams. I guess I have to say Fort Williams, Scotland. Maybe it's Fort William, no S, Scotland. We'll try that. There we go. Okay, so it's Fort William, no S, Scotland. Then you just use your scroll bar to scroll down into it, or you can come up here by your magnifying glass and click the plus sign until your blue City Skylines grid map, which came in with you when you came in, uh, gets big enough to see Fort Williams on it. You can uh, hold your left mouse key down and push the map around, see, like so, uh, in order to get that in the middle. Then click it again. That's about how big you can get it uh, and still have it maneuverable. Now you can see Fort William in the middle here. We don't want it in the middle. Let's see if I can get it one more. Yeah. Okay, we don't want it in the middle. We want to move our map, if you if you hold your uh, left mouse button down outside of your grid map, outside of this grid map, you move the entire map. If you hold it down inside of your city skylines grid map, you just move the city skylines grid map, which is what we want to do. Now we want to put Fort Williams down here in this corner. So we just grab this corner and put it up here until the little circle denoting Fort Williams is in the bottom right, bottom left corner of the bottom left tile of our map. Now as soon as we've done that, we're ready to export it back to City Skylines, which is so easy. We just go up here where the white cloud is we click on export. It'll ask us what we want to call this area, and I've already typed in Fort William, Scotland um, when I was looking for it. Um, so it's up there. If you don't have it up there, just type it in. Then say OK. And it takes a minute. There we go. Down here in the bottom left corner, 
you'll see Fort William Scotland zip and it says two minutes left so you just have to sit here and wait have a cup of coffee maybe you know go visit the little boy or girl's room whatever now it's saying three minutes two minutes it's going to take a few minutes to do this part um, so we're just going to have to wait through it and you don't want to move your map around or play with anything while you're waiting for it to download because that'll mess it up you just leave it be and let it do its thing and it does take a little while which when I'm trying to do a tutorial is not fun I'm going to uh, go ahead and put you on hold until it comes up and says it's finished but basically it's just going to keep doing what it's doing down here in this corner and um, I'll bring you back as soon as it's done doing its thing okay am I recording yes okay so uh, down here in the bottom now it just says Fort William Scotland zip it doesn't say there's any time left so it's finished so now you go down and you click this little arrow that's right next to the word zip and this dialog box comes up and it says open or always open files of this type or show in folder and you want to click show in folder because that then opens up the folder that you have your zip folder in that this created so then in this folder that just opened where it says Fort Williams Scot Scotland terrain even though it says it's a zip you go ahead and click it open and you now have the folder that has all four of your terrain maps that were taken from this map you can now close out uh, your Google map or whatever um, I'm just going to alt tab away from it back into our city skylines I'm going to go to tools map editor new create and <clears throat> wait for this to open up while my minutes tick away this is so easy the importing once you've got it down pat although I did mess it up the first two times we should be done okay now you don't do anything with the map when it opens you go directly down to your icons second icon from the left says import height map you click import height map you'll get a big black box but down in the bottom of it is this little yellow folder click on it it will open up your height maps folder now that you have that open you hold your alt key down and tab and tab again as many times as necessary to get to this folder and let go and now you have this one in front of you and um, if you look you've probably got the other one behind it so you just scroll it over okay now you want to take every one of these click on them hold the shift key down hold your arrow down and take all of these maps and then right and then holding the right mouse button down scroll them all over into this one it'll say copy here or move here just say move here you're using up enough computer space just with one of each and it'll take a few minutes to move it this is going to be a long tutorial just because we have to keep waiting for this stuff to happen but I don't know any other way to do this how many more minutes do I have of course it doesn't say oh they're going pretty fast I only have two more to go and I'm already at 10 minutes 
And I wanted to close out at 10 minutes, but I guess I'm going to go to 25 again. Okay, once you get all of them into this spot, there goes the third one. I like to use this one here that says SRTM 30 plus. They all say Fort William Scotland height map or whatever you named it, height map. Um, there is an Aster 30. There is an S SRTM 30 plus, which is the one I like to use. There's an SRTM 3 and there's a merged. Uh, a lot of folks like to use the merged, but I like the 30 plus just because it's got all the smoothing out work done for me already. Okay, now that that's there, you can uh, go back to your height map, and you'll see all of these maps are now in the black box. Um, as I said, I like to use, and it doesn't, you can't see which ones they are, can you? Okay, the top one is probably the M30. I'm going to show you the merged first, which is the bottom, I think. Can I make this thing move over? Of course not. I made the names too long. Um, and I don't want to do that. So we're going to rename each of these. I'm going to take Scotland out of each of them. Ah. I should want to move this. No, I want to rename it. Sorry about this, folks, but I have to get this each of these small enough so that they will show up. I'm just taking the word Scotland off of each of them so that hopefully sorry to make you wait there we go okay so now in the black box down here we can see what they are um, I'm going to do merged first so I'm clicking on merged and then hitting import and this is what you get with the imported map. I don't care for that. A lot of people like to use this. They like the roughness. Um, I don't so much. Okay, that's basically what you have with this one. Now, um, when you want to go look at the other one, you just come up here at the sprocket. You say new map. You don't say save. It'll come up and say, unsaved changes will be lost. Do you wish to proceed? You say yes. You say create again. And it takes you back through the process of creating the map. And it does not save that old one. You go back to import height map. You look at the next one. And you can look at every one of these that way. I'm going to take you directly to the uh, T TM30 plus and import it. I'm pretty sure that's the one I like. Yeah, it is. Um, Okay, now this is the exact same map, and then click that off. It's the exact same map, but all the cleanup has been done on it, and it just looks so much nicer. Okay, there you go. And then if you scroll out, you can see how your map is set up. Now, um, if I remember correctly, yeah, right, that was down there. This was over here. Yeah. Okay. So um, you now have the map that you want to use in our uh, next episode when we're going to, I'm going to at least put uh, two lakes up here and uh, I'm going to do some work up here, put some stuff up here. As a matter of fact, I've already done all of that, but I'm going to show you one thing here that I've already done in the other one that I can't redo. Um, you'll want to go to water. You'll want to go to uh, move your sea level. And then you'll want to take your sea level to 60. And you just go over here where it says sea level and you click in the section where the, uh, where the numbers are and type in 60 and enter. And that 
gives you water coming through that looks like it's coming from the ocean. Now, we, we grabbed this map not from the ocean, but it looks now like it's an island, actually two islands, in the middle of the ocean. And it's going to be a beautiful map. Wait until you see it. Okay, um, I'm going to take you over to where, uh, to the map that I created from this already. Uh, what you will want to do with yours is go to the sprocket at the top, say Save Map, and then you'll want to go down and you'll want to save it as something. Now, I've already saved mine, so I'm not going to save it, but you will type whatever name you want to down in this bottom section and then type the map name at the top up here under the picture also, and then click Save. Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to close it out and go to the main menu because I've already done that and saved mine. So I'm going to now go in and uh, let's see, go to tools and I'm going to go to load because I've already created it. And I believe it was Fort Hydro, yeah, load. I'm kind of overdoing here, but I want to show you what you're going to uh, be able to create from it. Okay. Now, the only thing that I did as far as terraforming was concerned was to bring the water height up to 60. And I took one of the, the hillsides that were up here in the corner and created this area where I can put a hydro dam in. And um, in the next episode, I'm going to show you how I do that. It's very simple, and I've got all the elevations already done for you. And um, you'll note that I also put in roads, and I'm going to show you exactly where I put those or at least where I started them, and then I'm going to continue working on them. That's all going to be in Episode 2 of Height Map 25 Tile Series. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope it helped you with importing. Uh, oh yeah, and I was going to give you the uh, instructions. Okay, these are your instructions word for word. Everything we just did is right here. You can pause the video at this point and just look at this and, and do it yourself if you haven't done it as we went along. Uh, if you are able to print the screen, you can print the screen right now and get that if you have it on, if you have your tutorial on large screen. Um, I will also try and put it I think, it, I think I can put this much in the comment section. So I will put all of this in the comment section for this video as well. And hopefully that will help everyone. Okay, so pause it now if you want to because I'm going to take it off of here. Okay. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I will see you in uh, actually this episode. This is not a tutorial, although I will walk you through th new things that I do that I haven't already shown you how to do in the uh, City Skylines tutorial for beginners uh, that I have. I'm also going to put the playlist URL for that on th in the text of this one so that if you don't know how to do any of this stuff, you can jump into that one and, you know, do a little learning and then come back and play with this one. Okay, this one's done. I'll see you in episode two. Bye.